Well, I think the best way to say how much Craig has meant to this radio station is that anytime there was a question, there was always a two-word answer. Ask Craig. Craig was a one-man show. Craig did the traffic for all of us, put all together the logs. He was uh, the operations manager. He also was uh, the music director, helped put the music together. Uh, did on air, of course, with the midday show. And uh, he did play-by-play -play when we did high school basketball. I think he did some Thunder Road in there. So he pretty much wore a lot of different hats. Yeah. You know, there'd be a traffic director, there'd be a copywriter, there'd be a production director. Three separate people would maybe do that. Most radio stations check off Craig for all of those. He drove in from Williston every day. I never saw Craig buy a pair of snow tires. He wore, used all season tires year round. And it didn't matter if everybody was off the road on the 89. Craig always got there either 10 o'clock or five after. He took his coat off and walked in the studio and said hello to everybody and did his air shift until two. And then he would go to work writing copy, producing spots, answering the phone, solving everybody's problems. Well, uh, yeah, Craig and I go back uh, 50 years, really well before the uh, WLVB DEV days. We met, uh, we went to uh, Graham Junior College together from 1972 to uh, 74. And uh, as I mentioned, uh, we, uh, we both worked for the college radio station, WCSB. And at that time, we uh, actually did, we were both into sports and he, uh, and I did a play-by-play -play together. I'm not sure if he remembers that or not, but uh, he did the play-by-play -play and I did the color. So, and then after that, we kind of parted ways. We went on to our different careers and then got reunited back uh, at DEV in 92. And then of course, on to, uh, to WLVB. Craig, Craig, day one. I mean, Roland and Craig were uh, the announcers uh, from day one when we signed on the air. So they've been here uh, for the full, almost the full 30 years for Craig till he retired. But uh, yeah, Roland, uh, morning announcer, and Craig, midday announcer, probably back to back for one of the longest uh, periods in, in radio that I can remember having two guys start on day one and going all the way through on the same radio station. Uh, I remember Ken Barlow who made a comment about Craig when he found that he was in the Hall of Fame, he said, Ray, Craig is a quote unquote radio guy. And if there is a definition for radio guy in the dictionary, Craig Ladd's picture would be right next to it. I think Craig uh, was a good communicator. He, he related to the audience really well. He knew the music really well, and he was part of the community. Even though he didn't live here, he was still very much a part of the community because he was a scene in the community, um, always supported our local um, advertisers so I think that was a big part of it and you know being on the air in this market uh, from day one you become a household name the reason why Craig should be in the uh, VAB Hall of Fame is it's about radio broadcasting and not just uh, on air but the entire radio package which he brings as I mentioned he uh, is a radio guy he uh, he does it all, really, and he does it, not just does it all, but he does it all so well. He's got a 50-year career in radio. That's all he's done his whole life, and he's done it well. He's consistent. He's gifted. He was a good broadcaster. He made everyone comfortable. He always encouraged the community to reach out to us to help spread their word. I mean the fact that he helped grow the communities that he was in um, and worked in uh, is, a, is a very special thing and we're like we were lucky to have we're lucky to have Craig and we're, we were lucky to have him for so many years at this radio station. There are a lot of great people out there and we have a great team at WLVB and have for 30 years. He just had an, a knack for making good choices and, and keeping us straight. Uh, Squire said it best, I mean, radio is on the air for the public good, and we take it seriously, and Craig Ladd really takes it seriously, and uh, just an honor to uh, have been working with him for all these years.